Hey, what's good YouTube? Native Mask Collector, back another video. Uh, in this video here today, um, I got my Revolution card grading submission back. 25 cards. Uh, they just showed up in the from the post office. And um, we're gonna rip it open and see how it is. Uh, first impressions on the on the packaging is, you know, the label almost came off. Um, I think they could have had a little bit better packaging you know the corners are kind of banged up and and bent and everything hopefully the cards and everything inside are are okay but you know i would i would ex hopefully there's another box inside of a box type of thing but we shall see um uh basically took just a little bit over the 30 days that i that i chose and yeah, I hope these didn't get damaged because they're pretty much just right to the corners here, but it looks like it's all packed up pretty good. So let's see what we got here. I don't want to see any grades, so I'm gonna turn these around. Um, okay. So that's there. And it looks like we got an envelope here from them. Oh, okay, so here's the uh, certificates of authenticity for each one. Um, so here's your certificate number for your Dennis Rabin Stadium Cub Beam Team members only. It's got the, it doesn't have the grade on here, so it just has what card it is and the number. So they're all in sequential things, so I guess those will with the cards um, all right again if you want to take a look at it get this with every card it's just basically a printed piece of paper laminated I don't know if these are in order or not. So let's see. I'm gonna get my sheet here where I thought what grades I was gonna get. I got that here. And basically what I have is uh, I went through this list on my previous video. I'll link it up here. So you can see it, it's basically the, the preview of what I was gonna send in and I kind of have all the grades I think we were gonna get. So, we'll do that. Got a nice sparkly, sparkly, sparkly one on the back here, which I'm assuming is the prism card. So, we'll say that one till last. Um, Shrink wrap off. So shrink wrap together. They're all in their own um, like team bag, graded card bag. Which is cool. All right. So and they got it sealed with stickers on each one. But uh, we'll just go through, I don't think they're in order any specific way, so we'll just go through one at a time here and uh, see what we get. All right, so. Uh, Magic versus Jordan. Magic versus Jordan. And looks like there's a hair inside of the case. See that? Yeah, eyelash in there. Hopefully it's just in the plastic, but so Magic versus Jordan. I was thinking that this one here was gonna get a nine. 
simply because it had a little dimple on the back corner here. So let's see what we get. It looks like we got good grades, 9.5 edges, centering, surface, corners, and we got a 9.5. So let me uh, take this out of here. But yeah, it looks like they got a hair inside of this thing. Right there. So probably be sending this one back to them. Obviously, I don't want a hair inside of the case. So first card. Um, my first impressions on the slab, it's, it's, uh, it feels like a PSA slab. It's got a nice embossed RCG on the back here, which I think might, it might be a little on the big side because it's actually covering up the card on the back. So, you know, I think if this would have been smaller and kind of pushed down and maybe have like the Crown Jewel RCG logo over here in the corner and then the font over here, you know, below that, that line there that holds it up. I think that would have been more pleasing to the eye. But uh, that's cool, I like how they split it up. Um, you know, you got the, the Magic versus Jordan, the red on this side, purple on that side, that's cool. Um, I'm, it looks really neat, um, no, no doubt about it. But again, the hair, I'm gonna have to contact them about that one. Put that right there. And then the next one is the Rodman Beam Team. And I was thinking this one's gonna get an eight or an 8.5 just because of the chipping on the edges. And uh, wow, this thing looks really cool in here. Let's rip this out of here. So, but yeah, definitely got the, you know, piston colors. So 9.5 on the corners, 9.5 on the surface, edges got a 9, centering got an 8, which you can see it's definitely off. You know, I, I was, I was definitely um, kind of expecting that, but I think I was going to get an 8 or an 8.5, and we got a 9. So, take that. That looks, looks pretty sharp. That's cool. Okay, next one, I got a Griffey. Uh, Nineteen ninety. I think this is a nine point five or a ten. I uh, I thought it was a pretty good. Whoop, look at that, 10's across the board, baby. So we got a Crown Jewel 10, um, Griffey. Put that's something on the, on the. So there's definitely something in here. It looks like a little, like fuzz or dust or something inside the case there. So I'll, I'll have to contact them about that one too. Because you can see the shadow, but it's not on the outside. So I'll make a pile of issues over here. But yeah, that's a sharp looking uh, slab. I think if this would have been more blue and yellow, like the, the jersey, I think it might have looked a little bit better. That one. Here is a John Collins rated rookie shock, optic shock. I'm thinking it's a 9.5 is what I thought it was gonna be. It's a small chip on one of the back corners. 
And wow, look at that. I got tens all over the place on this one too. So sweet. So another 10. Um, get some stuff on here. Adhesive or something. So definitely, you know, team colors on the uh, on the border and everything, which looks looks okay. Kind of might have been better if it would have had uh, like the the card look to it. So I don't know if they're gonna have an option where you can pick like match the card versus match the jersey or the team colors. But um, got a ten. That's 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 cool. Sharp looking card. Next one is a Christian Wood. Um, this is a cracked ice blue 2019, I believe. And I was thinking this one is going to get a, or a 9.5 based on a scratch type of line on the back, like a production line type of thing. But look at that, another 10. I mean, I'll take tens all day long, but I just want to make sure that, um, you know, it's a legit grade. But, you know, everybody grades a little bit differently, and I've been getting very strict on myself, just mainly because of what I've seen come back from PSA recently. So when I sent this one out, I was pretty, you know, pretty strict on what I was thinking they were going to get, so, but... I, man, these these slabs are pretty cool. I like them. I think they're gonna, you know, definitely improve with some options, custom, you know, labels, things like that. Color matching the card versus the jersey, um, team colors, things of that nature. So, this is the league leaders, King Griffey Jr. And I'm thinking this one was going to get a nine simply because it have a soft corner corners on it. And wow, this one got a 9.5, I think. Yep. So 9.5 on this one edges centering is a 10 surface and corners 9.5. So man, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll take good grades, but I just want to make sure that it's a, you know, fair good good grades here so I'm gonna put that there so I'm gonna put the ones I need to ask them about on the bottom of these piles but I'll do the 10 pile over here nine five and nines like that all right next one up is King Griffey Jr's um, Classic travel update, 1989. Um, I think this was an 8.5 or a 9 based on a couple of the small chips that it had on it, but it gets a 10. So, again, um, I'll take 10s all day long. I just want to make sure they're legit, but again, hopefully, I'm not being too strict on my own grading. But um, it would have been cool if this would have either been blue and yellow or like this orange and purple would have been cool i think it might have been better looking but again i think this is kind of like the standard you know obviously mariners team colors now but it looks cool no doubt and Tyrese Halliburton um, hoops. Maybe I should get some other way to cover this up so I don't see the subgrades right away. Like that. Uh, this is the hoops of this year, Tyrese Halliburton. Um, 
I thought that this one was going to get a 10 or a 9.5. I thought it looked really, really nice. So let's see what we got here. And a 9.5. So edges 9.5, corners 9.5. You can kind of see a little white speck there on the corner surface and centering got tens. So we'll take that. That looks cool when it matches the card. It looks really cool when it matches the borders. Anyway. Uh, here we go, a little metal ball. Hoops. I thought this one was going to get a 10 or a 9.5 as well, just simply because I thought it looked really, really good. So we got 9.5 on the edges, centering is a 10, corners 10, surface 10, and we got a 10. So that's cool. Um, man, it looks really, really nice when that label matches the card. They don't really uh, stack as well as some of the other ones. I mean, once you get them in there, it's okay, but it kind of slide around a little bit. All right. Uh, next, this one here is Kevin Porter Jr. Uh, it's This one's out of 35. This is the Blue Shimmer. Um, from prison this year. Man, does that look sick in that. So let's see over here. I thought this one was going to get a 9.5. So we got edges 9, centering. Centering a 9. Looks like it's pushed down a little bit. And we got 10, 10. So we got 9.5. Which is what I thought it was going to get. So... Man, that looks really good in a slab, man. Really cool. Next, we got Dennis Rodman. This is a red prism. This is out of 299. So this one will look cool, team colors and everything. Man, that looks so good in a slab. All right, let's see what we got here. What I think I was gonna get, I got down a 9.5 on this one. So we got 10 on the edges and centering, and we got 10s all around. So a perfect 10 on this one. Man, that looks good. This one here is Michael Jordan's uh, Superstar Summit card. Um, and I'm thinking this one was going to get a 9, just based on white chips on the corners, on the front and the back of it. Um, everything else looked pretty good. So, let's see what we got here. So we got 9.5, 9.5 edges and centering, and we got a 10 on the surface and corners, so we got a 9.5. Um, this one looks really good. I like the looks of this card. So that's pretty dope. This one here, I, mean, I love the looks of this one already, I can tell. So this is the Rodman um, Jam City. Uh, Fleer Ultra, 1997. And uh, I said 9.5 on this one. 
So let's see what we get here. 9.5 edges, 10 on the centering, and 9.5s corners and edges, corners and surface, so 9.5. That looks sick. I like the looks of that one. And it fits in my uh, stands that I made too. So it's almost exactly the same size as a PSA slab, thickness, width, and everything. A little bit smaller, it seems like. Yeah, a little bit smaller. But, uh, yeah, that looks cool. Really cool. All right, next stack. All right, so this is a, next card is Dennis Rodman, 1990 Skybox. So 1990 Skybox, um, I ripped open some boxes of this, like nine or 10 boxes of this last year. And um, just, oh, look at that, tens all the way around. This was definitely the one, the best one that I had. And what did I have down for this one? I thought this was gonna get a nine actually, cause it had a slight, very, very, very faint line on the face of it somewhere, but I don't see it now, but underneath the case, it might hide it. But uh, that's sick. So it would have been cool, like uh, if like these this pattern would have been kind of going through the label. I think they've definitely have been doing more custom things from what I've seen on their Instagram account, which um, I follow and check out the stuff daily just to see what what's showing up there. But um, yeah, this is uh, they're definitely improving on some of the custom um, label options and things like that. So, but yeah, that's cool. Next one up is Giannis Antetokounmpo. And they definitely got the old. This is uh, this year's Net Marvels card. So by the looks of this label, they're going with like actually the old Bucks colors that used to be red and green. But we'll just flip it over and see what we get here. I was thinking this one was going to get a 8.5 because of the white corners on it. Wow, so a 9.5. I mean, again, I'll take it, but would a PSA grade this one a 9.5? I'm not sure, but you can see the little, the white, little, I mean, super, super small little white corners on here. So the, which is funny because the corners got 10, but I don't know if that means what it looks like or just how sharp they are. Surface nine, five edges, 10 centering nine, which if they're going from the top and the bottom, I'm, I'm not sure how that, uh, how that works. Cause it's supposed to look like a comic book thing. So I think it's actually supposed to be thinner up there. I'm not sure. Let's look at some other examples but it looks like they they pulled the colors from this so you know you got red you got green you got the yellow and blue in here so it's got a little bit of everything from this card nine five uh next one we got another rookie i think yeah so this is anthony edwards Hoops, and I was assuming this one's gonna get a nine because of some chip chips on the top left corner, and we got a nine point five, and that looks really nice. 
Um, it looks like this one's got something inside of it too. There's like a, a hair. Something's in there. Up here and there. See that white spot and then that hair thing because that was not on there, whatever that is. Uh, the centering, you know, it's definitely pushed this way when you look at these lines on the bottom. So as far as getting a 10 centering on that, I'm not sure if that's legit or not, but um, I'm going to put this one with the pile of the cards that have some issues with the things inside of the cases. And uh, let's be fair, they're not the only ones that have those types of mistakes. I've seen it from everybody. On, oh, here we go. So here, here's the uh, uh, refractor. So this is the Jordan 19. Um, what is this? 19... 1991 upper deck. I was thinking a 9 or a 9.5 originally because the hologram had a little issue with it. Um, on the bottom, it wasn't like 100% complete. And then if you look at the back of this slab, you can see that melted back on it looks kind of jacked up compared to this one. That's nice and crisp and clean, and this one here is all over the place. It looks like crap. Um, so I can't believe they didn't see that and say something about it. But you can tell this one's definitely got the refractor look to it. And this one got all 10s. I mean, I like this this label, and I don't know if this is a label in here because it looks like there's actually a a crease. See that line there? Kind of starts right there at the bottom of that, and then it just goes up like that on the corner. So again, this one will see if they can fix that and obviously this, I mean, that looks like it got burned. Like the plastic got melted and burned on that thing. So, on top. Uh, LeBron James, so this is the uh, 2015 Hoops Chalk Toss. Or he's flipping it up in the air. Um, I'm guessing a 9.5 or a 10. I thought this one was pretty good. So edges 9. Centering 10, surface 10, corners 9.5. So we got a 9.5. Happy with that. I'm guessing the edges, you can kind of see some fiber on that uh, on that one edge there which is probably what did it. But looks super cool. Nice looking card. Uh, here we got a Jordan. I think this is the what we got, uh, 88 Ultra, and I was guessing a, uh, um, and what we got, 8.5 or a 9, based on the bottom back edge, had some, some chipping down there, you can see it, again, the, the logo here that's branded into this plastic looks burnt, it's like brown. And a 9.5. Cool.
cool looking card. Whoa, and we got another uh, refractor here. Shiny. And this is uh, Giannis's 2015 Prism. I was thinking uh, 8.5 or a 9 just because it got a scratch on the face and it's a little off centered. So we'll see what we got here. So, wow, a 9.5 on this. I mean, it looks awesome. And the label looks cool. Surface 9.5, edges 9.5. Um, it was pushed this way a little bit on the centering, but I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, it's, you can tell it, it's off center, but I wouldn't say it's a 10 centering. But again, I'm not gonna, you know, people grade differently. So this one here, the logo on the back here looks fine. Um, I don't see any creases or anything in that label. I think these are different than what the regular ones are. But um, overall, I mean, it's a, it's a cool looking slab. All right, next is another Giannis card. This one here is the Fearless from this year's Prism. And what do I got down for this one? I'm thinking a 9.5 to a 10. And the only reason I had that is because the outline on the front is off a little bit. So let's see what we got here. All right, cool. So all 10s. Um, man, that's a cool looking card. Yeah, that would have been sick. Like if it would have been a card match just to have like this rainbow prism thing like going, going through the whole label that would have been badass um this looks okay i think they could forego that i don't think that's needed on there because it looks like it's branded into the plastic and it's not it's crooked on this one but it looks like a really nice card All right, this one here is Dennis Rodman. Um, Metal Universe Dennis Rodman, 1997. Um, I was thinking a eight and a half or a nine based on the white chips on some of the corners because there's print all the way to the edges on this. And we got a nine, so. It's about where I thought it was gonna be. And frankly, I don't know how you go about determining how this is this is centered or if it's off-centered or on-centered because um, there's really no border. It's just a design. So a centering getting an 8 on this, I really don't. I have no idea why that would have gotten an 8. You know, if you're thinking this, maybe the circle, but really, I mean, it's almost perfectly aligned on either side. And you can't really push this thing down anymore because you're going to run the logo off. So uh, I don't know about that centering eight. But... It's cool though. Um, here's the James Wiseman rookie hoops and I was thinking this one's gonna get a nine based on the top left corner there's a chip on the face of it and we got a 10 so we'll take that that looks cool you know man when when it matches the, the card it looks great 
So surface nine and a half, corners 10, edges 10, centering 10. Um, looks like this thing's got something inside of the case too. There's a little piece of dust or something in there. And over here, it's like lint. So there's another one where I'll have to inspect these and make a request to get it fixed. pretty damn good on my grades but again I think I don't know if they're being a little bit more lenient on this or what but um, 1990 Skybox Magic Johnson um, I was guessing a nine or a nine and a half based on it being slightly off-centered and we got tens everywhere <laughs> so uh, crown jewel 10 all the way around I know they're they're 10 measuring you know grading it is what it is right you know people have certain parameters set up for for center centering you know as far as 60 40 55 45 50 50 whatever it is but um, I'll take a 10 man so this looks looks cool and my last card is a Giannis Antetokounmpo 2019 Hoops Premium Stock Pulsar Prism. And this one got the Prism Refractor, which is randomly given out for every 50 cards they grade. And I thought this one here was actually going to get um, a pretty high grade, actually. I thought that was perfect. Yeah, I thought this was gonna get a 10. I couldn't find anything wrong with it when I was looking at it beforehand, so let's see what we got here. Ooh, so 9.5, but man, look at that label. So corners 9.5, edges 9.5, centering 9.5. Again, man, I, man, it looks really, really good on the centering. And uh, surface got a 10, which I was expecting. But man, I... centering part I really don't know why it would have not been perfect because it looks great but I'm taking 9.5 on it man it looks really cool when you get that prism logo with a prism card But again, man, that, that branding or whatever that is, it covers up the card. It just doesn't look good. But otherwise, you know, pretty impressed with the slabs. They look really neat. It'd be cool if they had a, um, you know, an option for um, more customization I think they are getting to that right now I've seen you know different slabs show up on their Instagram with different types of designs but um, you know overall these are pretty cool slabs I think their grading is you know I think they're they're pretty liberal with their grades based on just you know my experience with some with PSA and what they do for grading based on my submissions that I've received back from them so far um, I'm not complaining that I got tens and 9.5s I mean I didn't get anything less than a nine and I only got two nines and almost half you know the rest of them half and half tens and 9.5 so you know I got let's see so I got two of these that's 23 so I got um, 12 9.5s and 11 10s. Yeah. 
But uh, I mean, the slabs look really cool. I'm pretty happy with with the whole thing. Um, what else? What I'll use them again probably for like some PC cards. Um, you know, it's neat when you when you can get these uh, refractors and prism labels. I mean, that looks so cool. Um, but again, it's randomly. You know, these only come one every fifty, and then the prism cards come one every twenty five. And I think I actually got three total of the refractors in here. So, but I, I actually, um, I think they said it, it's not based on your own submission, obviously, it's just based on how it goes through their system. So um, when that label comes up, it just says you selected for whatever um, label that you get. So, um, so, you know, shout out to Revolution Card Grading. Um, besides some of the issues with the the back branding here which you know some of them were not put on there the best or you know overheated um you know a couple things underneath the case lint there was like an eyelash in one of them or something some sort of a hair and then um you know over, otherwise the grading was was decent i'm happy with what i got back no doubt about it so now it just comes down to how are these things going to hold up you know, value-wise as a, compared to PSA values. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out some of the ones here and just keep them for my personal collection. And there'll be some that I actually, you know, put up for sale on eBay and we'll track it and see how we did on the, uh, on the sales aspect of this. But uh, overall, pretty happy with everything. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the, uh, the video. Um, if you go to their website, you'll see all the pricing and everything that 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 they have. Uh, it, I think these were 35 bucks a card for the 30-day turnaround. You can obviously pay more if you want, but um, you know I think I'll probably send over another submission here in a little while, just when I start accumulating some more cards that I want to want to send in. But I know when they were just starting out they were putting out like pre-launch stuff so i'm like you know what I'll, I'll give them a shot you know why not so really like the slabs i think they can do some tweaking to make some things better you know one more custom label options maybe even if you could pick the colors that you wanted um you know when you when you fill out your submission um, that would be so cool if they had that option um, things like that where you can kind of select things a little bit better to, for your own taste so all right so I went through the cards again just a little bit finer tooth comb type of thing just to take a look at the the quality once I started noticing things wrong with them and I found issues with all of these cards and I will show you what the issues are here um, so for this Ken Griffey uh, Jr. card, what was it? There's a piece of lint in the case right there on his helmet. You can see the shadow underneath, so it's definitely on the inside. That's that one. Um, on this John Collins one, there's two big like machine marks, some sort of scratches on the inside of the slab, on the ins back side of this cover, on that. And of course it's a nice, you know, 10 all the way around. On this Jordan card, 10 prism label. Um, the this branding is just all jacked up like i noticed when we were looking at them earlier
it's like you know this this is this is manually done so this is not a machine automatically doing it when they're sealing the cases because when you look at the edge the edge here you'll notice that they, they don't line up perfectly they're all over the place So these, I mean, not horrible, but you can tell that it's definitely done by uh, a human. And it's, you know, I'm assuming it's a time-based thing where you gotta make sure it's not in there for too long because then you burn stuff or, or whatever, but. So, let's see. So that's that one. This one was definitely double stamped or something and it's brown. You can tell where it got burnt. Um, it looks like shit, you know, I mean, who wants, who wants to see that? They shouldn't even do this. Or if you're gonna do it, do it up here in between the, the letter, the serial number and the, the website. Get it off of the card, put it right there. Um, so I was looking at this one. Hear that? It's like, uh, it's not sealed all the way down. So, and the, the stamp is crooked on the back. Um, on this Wiseman, there's lint inside of it. There's one piece here. And there's one there, and there's one there. And on the, uh, the stamp, looks a little on the brown side on that R. On Urban Magic Johnson, huge scratch going across this thing. It's hard to see in the. See that? Starts from about here and it goes all the way down to there. And the, uh, the stamp is, you know semi-crooked and not finished all the way. Um, Anthony Edwards, there's a hair or something in there. And there's a piece of white stuff there. Underneath the slab. On the Jordan truck card, there's a, a eyelash hair in there they almost look good um, on this Griffey um, there's something inside of there down here And there's a big smudge that's not on the outside of the case, it's on the inside. Huge, like, streaky mess underneath there on the inside of the slab. It's not on the card. Uh, this Jordan card the uh, the stamp on the back is like double stamped and it's coming off the edge. It's going into the edge, which damaged the holder. It's like you know you, you pay thirty five bucks a card. You don't want to see that. Um, this looks like crap. And then on this one here. Again, it was another stamp issue where it's completely burnt, like it's brown. You see how it's like burnt yellow? Like, who wants to see that? So that's what I got for those. I'm gonna send them an email and see if I can send these back to get them, get them fixed. 
So basically half of the cards, and I don't know man, look at the top of this stuff. It actually looks like this John Collins one's actually cracked. So that got damaged somewhere. There's a crack in this one. But you know, when you look at the top of these things, it looks like it's like like some sort of damage, like it's being sonically sealed too long, like it's overheating them. And it's always at the top. The tops of these are just they just something something's going on there. They don't sit together right. So I I don't know. I'm gonna send them an email and send them back. Because you know you pay 35 bucks a card, try out a new company, and uh, this is kind of the you know, I, I think a lot of this stuff is learning curve or whatever, but man. You know, they're, they're, they're grading like three, 4,000 cards a week. And, um, you know, this isn't good <laughs> at all. So I'll let you guys know what comes of it. And uh, hopefully we'll have another review when these cards come back. Um, appreciate you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Leave a comment down. Let me know what you guys think. And um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't. Like the video. And also hit that bell for notifications when I put out new videos. And we'll see you in the next video. Alright guys, later.